And welcome to the CTM Newsbreak. We keep you up to date on what's happening right here in town. I'm Diane Sherritt Steimel. The holiday season is here, along with spiking coronavirus cases. Authorities want us all to celebrate safely, saying that gatherings with more people pose more risk. They say the safest way to celebrate this year is with household members only or virtually with others. They also say you should limit in-person holiday gatherings to only people you live with or to a small group of individuals with whom you are regularly in contact. If you're gathering indoors, improve ventilation by opening windows and doors and wash your hands often with soap and water. Chelmsford got creative to celebrate Halloween this year with an outdoor event. Shelby O'Rourke has the story. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Halloween's traditional trick-or-treating methods were viewed as too risky and raised concerns. That was until Leadership in Motion Everywhere, or Lime, and other Chelmsford High School clubs stepped in with the idea of a drive through trick-or-treating event. Kate Mason, I'm a junior at CHS and one of the board members for LIME. This event came to be because we used to do an event in the fall called Haunt for Cause, but because of the pandemic we weren't able to do it, so we wanted to find a safe way to have fun during Halloween in the fall season. The event was an astounding success. I think they definitely should host it again. This is, I think, it'll be a great way to get donations for kind of the town to kind of come together, get some candy. It's a really great way for people in the town to learn about the clubs at the high school. Food insecurity has unfortunately risen during the pandemic. Cars are also lining up at the Senior Center, where Table of Plenty reinvented the way they share a meal. And we've got a new thing going where on Tuesday nights, we provide a grab-and-go meal at the Senior Center. Um, the same people that were coming to our sit-down meal are now driving through the parking lot. And we're also giving a bag of groceries to any car that comes through. So we've sort of married the two, um, the two lives that we've had, if you will. Um, and just to give you an idea of the, the numbers, I think at our first grab and go in um, June, I think we had uh, 60 or so cars and we gave out, I don't know, 30 or 40 bags of food. A couple of weeks ago, we had uh, we gave out 251 meals and 95 bags of food. Cars can come in and ask for one, two, three, four, you know, however many people are in their family. We don't ask questions. Um, we've been cooking for about 250 people so that we have enough. We are uh, blessed to live in the kind of community that we do. We have tremendous community support. So we collect donations, non-perishable donations, every Tuesday morning between 9 and 12 at the Chelmsford Senior Center on Groton Road in North Chelmsford. Um, we take any, any non-perishable donations. Um, and then our grab-and-go meal is on Tuesday afternoons between 5 and 6 at the Chelmsford Senior Center. Um, and so you're welcome to come in and get a meal and a bag of groceries. And finally, you might be noticing that some Chelmsford police officers are looking a little hairier than usual. That's because they're taking part in No Shave November. It's all to raise money to support those battling cancer in the area. Money raised will support Lowell General Hospital's Team Walk for Cancer Care fundraiser. All proceeds benefit cancer patients by assisting with funding for medications, nutritional supplements, wigs, prosthesis, skilled nursing care, transportation, and more. There are approximately 20 members of the department participating in the initiative this year. You can donate to the No Shave November fundraiser by going to the website shown on the screen. Thanks for watching the CTM Newsbreak brought to you by Chelmsford Telemedia. If you have news we can use, contact us at newsbreak at chelmsfordtv.org. I'm Diane Sherrod-Steimel. Mm -hmm.